Today, let's go over how I screen patients for sleep apnea. And the way to do this is by actually doing something called a stop bang questionnaire, which is right over here. So the S stands for snoring. So if a patient says that they snore or if someone says that the patient snores when they sleep, that's one point. The T stands for tiredness. The O stands for obstruction or signs or feelings of asphyxiation when you're sleeping. The P actually stands for high blood pressure. The B stands for a BMI greater than around 30, which is obese. Uh, the A stands for age, which is usually above the age of 50. The N stands for neck circumference, if they tend to have a high neck circumference. And then the G stands for gender, which is male. So for every single one of these that you mark positive for, that's actually plus one point. If you have more than five points on this, it's pretty high risk for sleep apnea. And so at that point, you should consider getting the patient a actual sleep study to diagnose it. Hope this helps. Follow for more. Peace.